I do want to talk about Mike Pence for a minute uh, because most folks are talking about Mike Pence mm. uh, saying that he spoke to Trump and there are some things, you know, we're not going to disagree with. But this goes back on the critical race theory conversation because Mike Pence decided to bring that up. I want you to hear this clip of him saying what critical race theory does. Listen to him. Listen to this. And maybe the most troubling developments in families in the past few months has been the Biden administration's wholehearted embrace on the radical left's all-encompassing assault on American culture and values. Under the Biden administration, patriotic education has been replaced with political indoctrination. They abolished our 1776 commission and authorized teaching critical race theory in our schools. Instead of teaching all of our children, regardless of race or creed or color, to be proud of their country, critical race theory teaches children as young as kindergarten to be ashamed of their skin color. Well, let me say, as my friend Tim Scott said, with great effect on the national stage not long ago, America is not a racist country. <laughs> just stop just stop i timmy gave them a gem didn't he timmy timmy in that rebuttal again nobody said that no sitting democratic senator said that uh joe biden didn't say it tim scott threw that out there and he gave them a gem it's just so they're going to they're going to pound that in. Oh, America is not a race. Bernie Sanders didn't say it. I don't even think AOC said it. I don't even think she said it. It's hilarious that gave them just a gem, a gem. It's hilarious that, I mean, for me, I've said it before. If you really want to uh, tackle race and tackle racism, uh, the ways in which you would do, do it would be to talk about it. Uh, and really not have people just finding about Tulsa, Oklahoma, 100 years later. Right. I didn't know about it until recently. Uh, but, Reese, folks are saying that this is Mike Pence's way of trying to run for office, trying to be the next president. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about these, these latest stunts from him? He just wants to say, white power! I'm white and I'm proud. You know, I think if, I think we should allow white people as a side. I, 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 I'm going to side with, 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 with the cancel culture people and say, let them come out and say, I'm white and I'm proud and white power. Let them say it. Let them say, because that's what they want to say. That's why they're so angry. And let them identify themselves. Take off the hoods. You ain't got to walk around with the hoods on anymore. Let it all out. Put it out there. And we can know what side you stand on because the reality is that's how they feel. They feel that this should be a country of white power. And that's what they do, whether they need to gaslight and try to say that something is under siege that isn't under siege or whether they are being overtly suppressive and oppressive. That's the ultimate aim. They're just really pissed off that they have to be somewhat slick about it. I don't think they're that slick about it anymore, but they want to be even more blatant. And that's why Trump has taken over the party because he's allowed them to be more out with it in terms of their rhetoric than the rhetoric than any time before. But go on, Mike Pence and say, you said, oh, they have to be, they're, they're taught to be ashamed. No, what you really want to no. say is, I'm white and I'm proud. You want to say white girl magic, don't you? You want to say white boys rock? You want to say hashtag white lives matter? Go ahead and say it because that's how you feel. And like I said, we know who we dealing with. Go ahead and free yourself as Fantasia would say. Free yourself and say white girl magic and white lives matter and get it over with so we can move the hell on. It's going to take me all day to get over white white girl magic. But listen, um, if you want me, don't talk to me. What, 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 what I think, yourself. what I think Vice President Pence wants to say and what I think a lot of white people want to say is it's not my fault. Oh, we had slavery. That's not my fault. Oh, we had Jim Crow. That's not my fault. And everybody understands. Vice President Pence, you didn't own slaves. Everybody understands, Vice President Pence, you weren't responsible for Jim Crow. But what you are saying when you say stuff like that is that you want to overlook or skip out on or avoid the discussion of because we had slavery, because we had redlining, because we had Jim Crow, because we had uh, lynching, because we had Tulsa massacre, 
on down the list, you as a white person benefited from generations of black economic and political oppression. Mm -hmm. That's what you're avoiding. We know you didn't own slaves, but you benefited as a white person today from the fact that white people had a leg up for generations and generations and generations. Number one. Number two, he either doesn't know or he's uh, BSing about what critical race theory is. That just isn't what Chris, critical, it's an academic theory. You can agree yeah. with it or disagree with it. And finally, sorry, Vice President Pence, but Senator Tim Scott has a better chance of being the GOP nominee next time than you do. <laughs> so you may as well look to another gig, become a lobbyist, you know, run for Senate, do something, but he, he serves no purpose anymore. He's right. too he's too closely aligned with Trump for anybody who was against Trump to vote for him, but he didn't do Trump's bidding on January 6th, so the hardcore Trumpers won't vote for him. Right. You, Republicans would their narrative would be better served by nominating Senator Scott. I'm not predicting Senator Scott to be the nominee. And then being able to say, see, we're not racist. We nominated oh, yeah. a black guy. You don't you at least get that out of Senator Scott. You don't get anything out of Vice President Pence as a presidential nominee. Good luck. Wait, I, I, I got to play the other clip of, uh, it's really quick, of Pence. Just play the, the other clip. It's like 20 seconds long, this part. And while we are not perfect yet, we ought to do justice to all the progress that has been made and recognize that the United States of America is the most just, noble, and inclusive nation that has ever existed on the face of the earth. Now, wait a minute now. Wait, now hold up, man. Now, now wait, you, <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying uh, this country is the worst country on the face of this earth. I'm not saying that at all. But can we talk about, uh, you know, pre-colonized West Africa? Can we talk about pre-colonized North America? Like, can we, can, can we talk about, I mean, really the most just, let's, I mean, I could give you a long history of the way black folks were treated, Native Americans were treated. Let's go into the way that the Irish were treated originally, the Italians were treated originally, the most just. It's the just, Japanese the, are put in internment the, camps. The Japanese in internment camps, I mean, come on. You had, you. I mean, literally people are upset that that there's uh there's there's films and I understand why and, and a series about the Underground Railroad because it's too traumatic to watch and that was just about a hundred and seventy some years ago I mean it's just it's come on now the most just the most just I just think wow it's uh again I'm not saying this country is uh, is is the worst and I'm not saying that at all but just that to think that we are what you look to as the most just, uh, the most fair, whatever he said, is some wild, wild, <laughs> dangerous nationalism. That's all. I, th this cracks yeah, me up. Yeah, no, I mean, he's, again, he's trying to dip around the issue. Look, I'm proud to be an American. I believe in the values of this country as stated, if not practiced. But you, you have to address the fact that the values, the stated values, are not always practiced. You can say America is a just country and he can feel and believe that America is the most just country, but that doesn't change the fact of what happened to George Floyd. That doesn't change the fact of- That Carolyn the, Bryant is still alive in Mississippi after right, she got of, Emmett Till right, killed. Of what, happened to, Sand, her, her racist of what happened to Sandra Bland. That doesn't change the fact of the wealth gap, the gap in educational and health outcomes. Again, we can go on down the list. That doesn't change the fact of how President Obama was treated when you were in Congress, Vice President. That, 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 that hold up right, right now, we have yeah. some great unemployment numbers, but black mm -hmm. unemployment is still double. Right, mm -hmm. right, and and he and that and and he's simply uh, skirting the issue, and you know the first time I had this kind of conversation was with a Tea Party guy, who was he didn't understand why people were critical of Thomas Jefferson, and I would say you can hold two thoughts in your head at the same time, you That's can right. agree that the Declaration of Independence is the greatest document to human freedom ever written, and also at the same time understand that the guy who wrote it was hypocritical about the fact that he owned slaves. 
you can that's how intelligent people talk and think if you can't reconcile that or you want to skip it then you're doing other people especially as a former vice president a grave disservice we're gonna go to a call but Reese, give your thoughts pants is full of shit and the audience is full of shit because they don't want a just inclusive America. They're railing against even acknowledging racism. They're railing against LGBTQ rights, particularly trans rights in this, and, 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 and as we've talked about, and they don't want justice when a cop kills an unarmed black person. They don't want a just inclusive America, but what they don't want is to be honest about what they really want, which is a white power, white nationalist nation. So all they do is they get in a circle jerk and they talk about how great and fabulous and wonderful they are and they're full of shit. <laughs>